everybody, it's Crazy Vegas Shime here. You guys are having an amazing day. So, um, whew, guys, we're, <laughs> we're back with the Legend of Vox Machina, episode eight, uh, season three, uh, Siege and Silence. I am, I legit sat here for like two minutes straight, but like in silence, thinking about what's gonna happen because like I am in shock. That episode, I didn't get to say this was fire. Uh, action was so good, and I love. That it was like that fight between Percy and um, Ripley. Um, sorry, I forgot her name for a hot second. And I was think if we're going by what happened in the show, I was like, this is fucking sick. And then the others come in, but that didn't happen. So I do like that. I feel like there's going to be another showdown between those two. Maybe. If they don't give us the wrong idea that he's dead. Um, anyway, uh, I'm very nervous. <sighs> Uh, let, let's just get into it. Remember, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, let's go. Oh. Ah, uh, hello. You there? Happen to be some sort of cultist? I beg your pardon. Percy. If you're looking for the raving mystic, you missed him by two days. Seems confinement didn't agree with his constitution. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Talisman? That design looks so much like him. <laughs> Why bother lying? You'd learn soon enough I've not a silver to my name. In fact, I'm totally alone in the world. Perhaps you can relate. Has become our most familiar neighbor. And yet the sorrow of this tragedy is somehow crueler than the rest. I'm sorry! His brother, like his family, Percival de Rolo. I'm so sorry, what? His home and loyalty to its people. No, 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 no. What? Percy. Oh my god! Don't say it. I wasn't strong enough. <laughs> You're the strongest person I know. Gods, I am a bad luck charm. Go oh, shut up, you're not! Thing. What was unsaid will remain so. Hold on! Oh! I think there's a Vaxlith. Keyleth and Vax moment coming up. What? <laughs> I am in so much shock <laughs> by this change. I like it. I welcome it. But also, I hate it so much because they're so good at bloody voice acting. <laughs> oh! Come inside. Oh! The future is frightening. <laughs> I don't want to be alone tonight. Do you? It's that moment. Yes. I wanted to be alone most nights. Mm. <gasps> oh! <laughs> why? <laughs> yes, but also why? <laughs> oh. Kaylee's song. Oh my God! Hold! Hold! I've waited for this so long. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look at them. The way he holds her. Yes. Oh, Raven Queen, go away. Can you give them twi- Can you not? Oh my god. Give them, please. Pausing again. Give them bloody two days. To do whatever the hell they want, woman. Why are you going after them every time they do this? It's so fucking annoying. Go away. I hadn't planned on burdening you with this, but it's time you knew the truth about your family and Thordak. Is this to you all right now? Distracted. I need to clear my head. Drink it and I will count. Fix Alia. You can't. Stubby. We may be able to avenge both of them. Actually, while the the ad's going on, um, 
Oh, God. I'm just going to say this. I actually really like the changes that they're doing. Obviously, it doesn't give that instant, like, reprieve, and you're like, oh, he's fine. I love that we're getting this, like, sort of notion that he can't be immediately be brought back. Like we did, I guess, in season one with, um, uh, Keyleth, uh, because she had the necrotic damage and stuff done to her. Um, I can't remember if she had a resurrection, but, yeah. I think, I, I don't know, I like this, that there's a build up to it instead of it just being like, oh, the easy option, you can resurrect them. There's actually like a little bit of build up towards it, hopefully. We'll see. According to Raishan, Thordak's nest will hatch soon. If they do- We're fucked in every single hole. <laughs> it what if we did have an army? This is bigger than Whitestone. Even Taldore. He's right. How about a thousand Singorn soldiers? Oh, her dad. Oh, Vex. Oh, she went to speak to the dad. Uh, so, hate him. You've done it. The dragon killed mother, Elena. You blamed us for her death. Nonsense. I never said any such thing. You turned your back on your children. In our moment of need, you shut us out. Proud to admit you loved her. Her death hurt you as much as it hurt us. Yes! That's your truth. You taught me my love was poison. I learned the lesson so well. I kept the one decent man who shared his heart at arm's length until it was too late. I'm loving this so much, actually. I really, really like this a lot. As much as I miss Talison. No matter what happens, we'll face it together. Mm. Not my fate. Not yours. <laughs> Ours. <laughs> Yay! This reminds me so much of Lord of the Rings. The elves! <laughs> What's a line I can't remember from Lord of the Rings? But it's like that. So, we take out the small ones while you use your vestiges on Thordak. Plus the plate. If I can get it to work. <laughs> it's if I can get it to work. <laughs> but will it work? Call her Lady Vexalia. It has to. How's that work? And no resistance. You'd think they'd notice us by now. Nor at least notice me. <laughs> nah, something's up. Why are they not attacking? Do you feel that? Because he's coming from underneath! God, there's a fucking mosquito in here. This isn't your fault, Vex, darling. Oh, God. What an episode. I hate it. <laughs> God. That honestly shocked me by how much they changed. In a good way, though. Because, again, I like I was saying in the last episode, actually, like, it fits the screen differently than it did what happened in the show. Um, I can't remember this part, so I do apologize, like, in terms of if I can't get the details right in terms of what happened in the Critical Role episodes compared to the show. Um, but, I don't know, like, it, with Percy's death, I remember that vividly, because it was so shocking when it happened. Um, but I love the way that they did that in that episode. I'll talk about it more at, in the next one, because I always do that overall review stuff. Um, and especially with this, too, I like that and I, because I was worried, I was like, are they going to bury him? Because I was like, how the hell are they going to bring him back? But I feel like there's going to be some way that they're going to be able to bring him back. Maybe at the end of the next episode or maybe at the beginning of the uh, episode. What are we? Eight, nine, ten. Damn. Oh, my God. The next three episodes are next week. Oh, my God. That went so quick. Damn, we should get 20 episodes. That would be great. Anyway, and I love, I love, I love what they did with Vex because I was like so worried. I was like, please, she's not leaving. Oh my God. Because we know Critical Role fans, I think we all, oh, I forgot to change my screen. I, we all have PTSD of certain people leaving. Um, so that's why I was like, oh, please don't. But I love that she got that moment to confront her father and have that moment and be like, you know, actually like work out a lot of family stuff which doesn't really happen in a lot of animated shows like this um so i love like it was sort of like talking about the trauma that was in place like by their father onto them and how it made them feel and perceive themselves and that's such deep thinking and such a beautiful writing shall i say whoever wrote that beautiful beautiful and laura's performance as well just absolutely sold it um 
Um, yeah, that was just so beautiful. That really stood out to me. And I love uh, also Troy Baker as the dad. I forgot. I remember someone saying that that was Troy Baker. And I was like, what? It doesn't even sound like him. But now that listening to him now, I was like, yeah, there's little bits that I can hear that sound like Troy. Anyway, I love that even he apologized. And then he's like, you know what? I'm a, I'll fight with you. I'll be with you. Um, and it's just so nice. And then, oh, that ending. So... Did Ryshawn really sell them out? This but this bitch, my god. I can't this is the part that I can't remember, that's why I'm so terrible at these things. Um But yeah, re I really like this episode, but we'll talk about it more in the next one, um, at the end. Oh god, I'm sweating, I'm scared now, I'm stressed. Oh, okay. As usual, remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Catch you soon. Crazy Vega out.